Hey, you there. Wow, he has good eye. Come here. Okay, it's a large area. Don't you turn. Okay. Let's check the other ones first. Oh, yeah, I didn't come here. Oh. Look, bro. I sure hope Nana's doing okay. At least she's getting some rest at home. Uh, are you the one? Are you one of those thirds who come poke around the ring ruins? A lot of older folks live around here. This little village used to be a, as quiet as a dusty old tomb. But then Pai became chief, and lots of you young full types have been coming around. Now it's quite lively. I just worry that with all the new folks running around, something might happen to my plant garden. Plant garden? The previous chief planted these beautiful plant trees on the day I was born. They are a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Curry over with the survey team shows my trees proper respect, so I let her use part of my garden for her research. She uses it to grow something called a sandalium. It's, it seems important, so I keep careful watch I, and don't fuss with it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuss with it. And my little garden, no trespassing. Oh, she has an alarm system. Okay. I thought they would just call her, not actually assault me. How long was it out? Surprise. I've been training cuckoos to soup on any rapscallions who try to mess with these trees. Rapscallions, I never saw the word. Uh, you heard the guard, <laughs> you heard of guard dogs? Well, try guard cuckoos. Hurting my garden isn't a mistake someone will make more than once. Oh, no indeed. Oh, I did that mistake once. In the past. But I'll definitely break all those down. Hey, what are you doing? Cory has put a lot of work into raising the plant. Don't mess with it. Hey, cut it out. These plant trees are precious gifts from our former chief. Don't you mess with them. I can... Oh, okay, right. Okay. Um, I don't have bombs. And I don't really want to spend the other bombs here. That's dangerous. Oh, hey, okay. that's, that's no damage. I just want to get some distance before throwing a bomb. Get her to get. Oh, she says something different. Uh, any scoundrel who tries to mess with my plum trees will learn their lesson. Now stand up straight and listen up. Uh, plant civilized endurance and prosperity. The way they persevere through the harshness of winter and flower at the first sight of spring, we Sheikah were once driven out of the kingdom. We strive to live in harmony with the world around us. We consider plant trees the silent guardians of our village. These trees were planted by a previous chief on the day I was born. Here's the story. Oh, story. <laughs> okay, so what I've been trying to say is that these plant trees are full of previous chief's devotion. Get it? Well, are you even listening? Fine then, I guess. Uh, I've been going on and on about it, but from now on, you better not hurt something others hold dear, and not just plant trees. 
thing on. I want to see if she says the same thing again. I skipped the beginning. I thought it would be the same. Ah, she doesn't even care now? Huh. She doesn't even care now. Ah. Then we can't kill Kukos. Okay, I'll wait for the next day before I I throw a bomb in there. I want you to see the tree fall. Oh! 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 The well of Kakariko! <laughs> well, this isn't in the same place as Ocarina of Time, but... There's some ruins. Is that a base? It is. It falls. Oh, I have slots. Okay, not really a base. Better mm. notebook, ready for space. My beloved husband always gives it his all in working his in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and in good spirits. That's why I made him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. Uh, I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope he filled his heart as well as his stomach. Next page. My little Kotla. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was their mother or the other one. Oh yeah, Coco did say that her mother cooked well, right? She wanted to be like her mother. That's why she cooked in the first game. Little Kotla, my perfect girl. I love her so very much. She truly is the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite a taste for hot buttered apple. She's like an adorable little squirrel, always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I could, I would cook endless amounts of apples and gold butter to keep my little one happy. Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Koto was born, Coco doesn't ever whine or complain anymore. She is so strong and so wonderful. Luckily, mommy knows that Coco loves energizing honey apples. It's a tad difficult to collect honey, but so long as I carry fire with me, the bees won't attack. That makes sense. Why have I never tried that? I would go to any lengths to see my Coco smiling face. Even a few bee stings here and there, uh, here or there, are well worth it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, one of those in meat. <laughs> Where is the logo? Tough meat stuff pumpkin. Grants a low level defense boost. This hollow meat filled pumpkin is a local specialty of Kakarko Village. Okay, now an apple and butter. Oh, I don't have much. Hot butter apple. The apple sweetness has been enhanced by smothering it with butter and baking it. And there. A single one. Okay. Energizing honey and apple. Instantly refill some of your stamina will uh, a juicy, sweet and sour dish combining newly ripened apples with honey. Hey, where's the bubble? 
Alguém? Ah! Quero ser Marian Sil. Cheguei de ser Marian. Oh! Sorry. Uh. This area is off limits. I'm borrowing the Plum Garden for my Sandalion cultivation. Sandalion? Mm. The Sandalion is a new species of plant. The first one was found on ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow up in the sky lines. I'm still in the middle of my investigation, but early results indicate that they have some sort of relationship with the gloom. Uh, I can make use them to make the the porridge. Then, if I can prove that, I think they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid our research of the depths. In any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. Oh. Bloom isn't my area expertise. Luckily, there's a specialist on the survey team. I consult him on gloom related matters. Okay. <laughs> this is Melly's church plum garden. If anyone but her goes in, the Garkukos attack her once. So I guess the warning comes a little late now. There's also an important experiment in cultivation conveying some lions going on here. So that's an even better reason that you enter. What are you doing? The plant trees are mainly treasures. Please don't play with them. Stop! That's not lie is still being researched. Please don't let anything happen to it. Okay, I think I can try a bomb now. Ah, uh, fire, fire! Uh, I had to put it out. Uh, seriously, stop that. That's not lie is still being researched. This press of carriage, you might be rep uh, be reprimanded if you take it. Center strikes. Mm. Huh. A stabilizer. A perfectly balanced zona device that ends up right when activated. It was used to secure footholds in stable places, such as sky islands. Is that marking? Ah, oh, that is marking where we are. Okay. Note on the table. Saunter Ring Ruin Research Journal. Cory. Like the other Ring Ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with an inscription. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in ancient texts revealed that it was a sandalion, a plant long thought extinct. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Note our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. 
Okay. Oh yeah, there's something about the cuckoo's movie in the morning. Oh, a bunch of them. Hideaway. So many eggs. Blade. Ah, the long blade. A long blade that no longer cuts as well as it once did due to its decayed edge. However, when wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Ah, so now this one works as the uh, wind cleaver. Take picture of the one in that piece and bring that to them. The Sephiroth's Labs, the Sun's Lab, the Southern Ring Ruin, some translation notes. Thor, who protect of Haru from the Demon King together, King. They were known as sages. What I take from this is that it's about our facet of Haru as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it goes something like There were those known as sages who protect the kingdom of Harrow from the Demon King. Okay, let's go to the next one. Those are some. They're kind of far. Did I take picture of those? No, not yet. Best defense is a good offense, nonsense. Uh, now it's afternoon already. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. And we won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old codger. Eh, who looks so stocky? Clear square. Uh, good grief, those two really don't get along. You know what I mean? Those two? Ah. I mean, those two squabblers over there. I want to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills, but some monsters have set up camp there. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighter, so I asked them to clear out the monsters. But this is all they do. Ah. Here's the stone slab in. There's a stone slab in the nestle ring ruin, inscribed with his own writing. Uh, what if the monsters destroyed the priceless artifact? Why did I ask those two for help? Those two are comp I know they compete against each other, but they're competing to be the strongest of the village. 
I'm pretty sure Dorian and Kado would be stronger. Like already. Uh, this was live uh, in the necessary ruin. ruin some translation notes. Those who most live among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly, the sages are subjects of this lab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Test that. <laughs> okay, that wasn't efficient. Oh. Oh, he's going down there. Hey, what's up? You defeated all the monsters. Just who are you? That's some kind of fighting he did there, Hawking. Okay. Uh... It sure was. A firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with the veins. Mm. Uh, have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can defeat your enemies purely with defense. Uh... No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we are, we've realized the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here, he showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Oki knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but I'm glad, of, glad to help if you can. Mm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right, I bet my tree's uh, store is running low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. Let's save now. Ah. Now that you've chased the monsters off, uh, I can go back to investigating the stone slab in the ring ruins. Thank you, stone slab. Oh. This is one of the five ring shaped ruins that fell in this area. They are all broken open except for the floating one within the village itself. When that happened, chambers with the stone slabs were exposed. These slabs provide rare examples of zona writing. Mm. Someone placed them very carefully. They must have been important objects. I can't believe I got to study them. Taro has translated a bit of it already. This particular stone's lab seemed to detail requirements for becoming a sage. 
Apparently, not only did you need to be exceptional in some way, you also needed a secret stone. <laughs> I never heard of these secret stones before reading this. There's still so much mystery in the world. If you want the exact text, you can read the translation next to the source lab. It must have been important. It's a shame we don't yet know what they meant by sage in secret stone. Okay, it doesn't really say. But I think they were given secret stones. The individuals become sage by taking up secret stones. Yeah, I think this is the other way around. I think they get secret stones for being worthy of being sages. Uh, okay, let's check the one up there. Armor card. Armor carp, caution deposits in the scales of these ancient fish make them as hard as armor. Cooking it in the dish will fortify your bones, temporarily increasing your defense. And a mighty carp. No! Mighty carp. This freshwater fish lives alongside a less mighty carp ilk. A compound in its liver promotes muscle growth. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your top power. Oh yes, I was thinking he was slaying way... I think, no, he was slaying way more than the previous game. That's why those clothes... These clothes come in parts. So each part must improve a little bit. Ah, oh. oh, I could have just continued. Whoa, where is the start? Ah, oh, it's back here. Oh. Damage. Okay, let's just, just test this. Oh, that is already way better than expected. Oh, I, I didn't notice that. Oh, my, wake up. I love the purple. Wake up! Oh dear, oh dear. This isn't the place to go to sleep. Saguru's not far off, uh, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact. Oh, I didn't really notice. I'll be the one who gets it. Stone slab? Ah, uh, yes, stone slabs are, well, slabs, like the one this guy is sleeping on. Uh, the survey team discovered some slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ring above us. Ah. Our leader is able to read Zonai writing and says the text on this lab is a record of a, a historic fight. One that was between a great king of their era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned the mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Mm. It worries me to know that this discovery talks about the demon king's returning and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time here, there. You can read the decipher writing for yourself. It's all right next to this lab. Where's the in owner? Uh, the in owner is him, that guy there. 
uh, he came to change our beds, but then I realized he'd fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. I tried shouting and then shaking him. Nothing. Aww. What's more, he decided to doze up on top of this priceless stone slab. He's been seeing truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. I wonder if he wake up his male one right under his nose. But it's hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. Uh, I did find one, however. Ah. It was bobbing along under the waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped the truffle there or if floated in from somewhere else. <sighs> I've got to do something about this guy soon though. Saguru's in the ruins above and he'll come back here eventually. Let me read that first. This is a large ruins, some translation notes. The demon king vests power, no hope victory. King's own life manage imprison him. Imprison not indefinitely. Prepare demon revival with sages must leave our knowledge future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I, s I guess that's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and he gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages try to leave something for the people of the future who will have to prepare for the Demon King's revival. Mm. Hard truffle, you're the only fungus for me. Uh, I, I think I found one. Gentle oh. <laughs> uh, aroma, strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearted truffle, I have you now. Uh, um, was was that just a dream? Uh, where am I? Oh. That's right, I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Oh, the traveler is going to be so mad at me. Thanks for helping me wake that guy up. I can't believe he fell asleep on one of the priceless stone slabs. I can't have... Uh, that can't have been comfortable. Anyway, I'm glad he woke up before Saguru found him. Mm. Bye. Hang on, if I slept on the stone slab, would I dream about the glory days of the Zonani? Saguru never comes down, so maybe I'll give it a try. Oh. Hang on, okay. What would I ask you? Oh yeah, stone slabs are well slabs, like the one that in honor was using as a bed. Survey team, discover some slides each room. Okay. Ah. Mm. Uh, okay, if only you knew the sage did prepare, came back. It's okay. Mm. Oh. Large ring room search journal, Saguru. There are five ruins around the village, but I call the large ring ruin. What I call the large ring ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though parts of it have collapsed, its shape it is the only ruin to retain its circular shape. As with the other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with a nine script was found in the rubble. We have stored this lab in a tent at the nearby camp. Oh, Sorry. Hey now, get our feet off the stone slab. <laughs> this is one of the priceless artifacts from the ring ruins, so please be careful. Where could they... what? Uh, did Pro send you? I'm Saguru, nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the sky islands. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Uh, wait, you're not the survey team? This is an official ring ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. 
Since you're here, I am happy to answer questions. Uh, as long as they're about Sky Islands. What are Sky Islands? Oh. You know when you start daydreaming and stare off into the sky, and then you go, whoa, a floating ruin? That's a Sky Island. Oh. Remnants of the Zone Civilization, like the Spring Ruins, have fallen all over. Turns out they come from the Sky Islands. Which means <laughs> the whole zone in Legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. <laughs> uh, I'm not boring you, am I? Because we can go about Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Anything live up there? We're not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. Uh, if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. Yeah, they found the place, but they, nobody has ever seen a construct. There are a few that have fallen in our guarding stuff. Oh. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, the flower. Oh. Try talking to Cora. She's our resident plant expert. Right now, she's trying to cut with plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely go ask her about it. I'm not boring you. Okay. What makes you curious? Uh, I want to know more about armor made with zone attack. Hmm. Clothing and culture are tied together. And there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the sky island, the bigger the settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. Hmm. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to contain myself studying the ring oh. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands. At least not yet. I'd love to go someday. A bed of folks in Terry Town could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Hang on. We can't go up there, balloons? Yeah, I didn't see any highland or anything up there but i thought i could go that far with a balloon <laughs> but hello, you were interested in zone like floating and the one i found on the largest island oh uh curious ah. armor closing culture well <laughs> Oh. Okay. Huh. <laughs> so you moved here after the people. Okay, now which one am I missing? Those? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if he'll save me. You. <laughs> Thanks. You uh. saved my life. Oh. Uh, Link, hard to believe it's not already. Would you like to rest in the inn? Oh. Elipa is too young, so I understand her enthusiasm with the ring ruins. But, and this is just between us, I wonder if it's more of an obsession. I hope she realizes soon what it means to be chief. Ah. Hey, there you are. Sounds like I've got you to thank for waking this guy up. No more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. Sticky elixir. Grants a uh, high level sleep resistance to keep you from sleeping on wet surfaces. This highly absorbent, its highly absorptive ingredients make it a must-have for sudden rainfalls. I don't think you should drink that. I think you should pass on his <laughs> hands. Uh, it's a high-quality concoction made of four stick frogs and a bokoblin horn. Should come in handy on your rainy day adventures. <gasps> right then, don't finally take that nap. I might even splurge on a soft bed. <gasps> Once I rest up, I'll be hitting the road again. I've stayed here too long as it is. 
Before I go though, I need to pick up a ring garland just over here. Ooh. You're a customer, right? Thanks for waking me up with the scent of a truff that truffle. I'll think of its aroma the next time I drift out to sleep. Very much appreciated. Mm. The person on the survey team was telling me about the stone slab and before I knew it, you know. The last thing I heard before I fell asleep was that there are more stone slabs with writing on them. Well, regular bed is 20, the soft bed is 30, the difference. Uh. Soft bed stuffed with premium cocoa feathers or something, I think. Sleep on that and, uh, you know, you'll be more energized than usual. Goodbye. Ooh. Okay, you sleep great though. Ah, uh, let's see if she has restocked now. The defense of that. Uh, well, Vistar, I heard the news. You've done us a huge favor. Those two have argued about offense and defense since they were barely old enough to walk. They just praise each other's vegetables, and now it's like a brand new day for those old cooks. We've also got some stock back in, so it's happy days all along. Uh, that reminds me, please take this in your carriage. Highly available as a medicinal plant, this carrot contains large amounts of nourishing energy when cooking a dish, it boosts your stamina beyond its maximum damage. I had one right, didn't I? Ah. Let's call it in your carrot. Cook it to gain stamina, it's a precious natural remedy. It's been prized since old, st old times and it's become remarkably rare of late. Please take it with you on your journeys. Aww. Thank you truly, uh, please drop by anytime. Ah. Oh, hello, welcome in. Also, good to you. I have stock ingredients for sale again, except there's one little problem. <sighs> Bird eggs are still in short supply around here. The cuckoos still lay their eggs every morning, of course, but they just started laying them in a new spot. Mm. I tried following them once to find their new nesting place, but I'm not as quick on my feet as I once was. Given how well our bird eggs sell, I usually like having 10 or so in hand, so I can easily restock them. But oh well, bird eggs for you. Huh. One of them is the one I bought for you. Oh, it really brought me timber eggs. What a kind of hard thing to do. Thank you so very much. Of course, I'm not about to take them off of your hands without pain. 50. <laughs> I know it's not much, but that should still be more than you normally get. Here, let me just put this on display. There, now both my shelves and my heart are full. Please come again. Cuckoos. She sells them for 12 each. <laughs> uh, I have the oddest, oddest feeling whenever we chat. It's almost like I've known you for ages. It makes me want to chatter away. Do we know each other for ages? Or you just have a hard time remembering me? Next time we talk, you should just tell me what you want. Maybe that'll stop me from taking your ear off. Recommendations? Ah. Let's see. Of course, I recommend the switch cards. My music grows. There's nothing better. But Oakings for Five Pumpkins are also a good choice. We didn't use to stock them, you know. Oh, Oaking and my Mr. Quarrel for years and years. But now they get on and we have those pumpkins. It's a miracle. So, yeah, I want to sell. I just want to see how much would be an egg. Three, okay. Oh. Uh, I don't get away from this place too often, so I appreciate you showing, uh, showing me such interesting things. Ah. So many time. But we should have milk. Oh, I left as well. Hmm. Certainly, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Princess Adover Bob, so I'm not sure I can be of any help to you. However, my plan is to investigate the ring ruins as thoroughly as possible. Dora, my age, does not seem too happy about it, but I believe this falls under my duty as chief, so I, it must be done. That's all I have for you at the moment. 
Please stay as long as you please. Okay, where are you going? Got quite late, please rest yourself, Mr. Link. Upon exiting the structure, there's an inn to the right. I hope you'll find peaceful sleep there. Mm. Over you. Link, if you can sleep, try soft bed at the inn. I heard they're very comfortable. Uh, I'm sorry to talk about them. Don't follow me. Mother. You okay? Watch over the plum gardens, then over the evenings. So, if I don't head home soon, my old man will fret away. Plum garden, previous people. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so. Thank you, Fred. Stay high, stay up night for this village. Sounds like Firefly. This Firefly glows gently in the dark, when cooked into with monster parts, the compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. Did I get it? Okay. <laughs>